join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. We're looking at probably the last of the single packed uh, Shadows of the Empire figures. I did, I have reviewed all of these recently. Um, Prince Shizor is a new addition, he was the one with the two pack, I just picked him up loose. Um, and Leia in Boosh disguise. I did also mention in my Dash Render review that I was going to buy another one so I could have his correct weapons, and I did exactly that, so... That was cool. So I've got an extra dash. Another, an extra dash. Um, but yeah, today we're going to look at Leia in Bush Disguise. Uh, this one was released in the Power of the Force sort of mainline as well. Um, obviously, being a part of the Shadows of the Empire story. She got a individual release on the purple, purple style card back. So and this is a figure I've never had in my collection and you know what I unfortunately I don't even have the most recent version of this figure I have the black series in terms of three and three quarters I think I've got the one from it might be legacy it might even be older than that but the TVC and three three quarter black series one they put out a few years ago that's one that still eludes me would like to get a hold of that one preferably the TVC oh, I did miss that so, here she is, Leia in Boosh Disguise, Thermal Detonator in hand, maybe a little bit of silver paint on the fingertips there, but that's okay, that's okay. It does come with the uh, pike thing, I think they still call it a force pike, stick. Whacking stick. Um, the little sort of plastic cape is removable off the back there. There's a little peg and then a little bit on the top, which sort of slots into that tiny little groove on the back. Um, it doesn't really hold on there or anything, but the peg sort of does most of the work in the back. But it looks good. Looks all right. Nothing wrong with that. So the helmet is, of course, removable. We get a bit of a close-up look at Leia there. Yeah, for the time, this is fine. Probably the the lip colour's a little bit white. But we know what. Carrie Fisher was dabbling in in the early eighties, so he's probably not out of the probably not out of the realm of you know disbelief. <laughs> oh, God rest her soul. We do miss Carrie. I, I miss Carrie a lot. Never got the opportunity to meet her, but just as a just as a public personality, she was absolutely wild. It's hard to believe it's like seven, nearly eight years since she, since she passed away. Insane. But yeah, this is this is a cool figure. I'm glad to glad to finally add this one. I, I think the uh, the next step for my Shadows of the Empire is the swoop bike, and then possibly the. Um, the IG-88 Darth Vader 2-pack. Although I don't know that those figures are any different from the single releases, so... I'll have to do a little bit of research before I go and bite the bullet on that pack. It'd still be cool to have, don't get me wrong. But yeah, the swoop bike... I think that's all of them. Again, I'll have to do my research, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's it for Shadows of the Empire. Sorry, it wasn't IG and Darth Vader, it was Shizor and Darth Vader. It was IG-88 and Boba Fett, and Boba Fett is the sort of the ready colour gauntlets. So yes, I will indeed try to track down that pack. But the swoop bike's not a difficult one to find, it's just trying to find one that's cheap enough. 
Now I've shown this off a couple of times, but it's the cover of the Shadows of the Empire Omnibus. We have Leia and Chewie disguised as Snoover there on the front. So got these two together, that's cool. So yeah, I'll leave well, I'll leave a link to whatever the last one I did was. I think it was Dash to be honest. Um but yeah, check out all these all these reviews I've done individually for Shadows of the Empire. Yeah, like I said, the Shizor pretty much covers both, but I'll show you a quick look at the weapon on this one. It's like just a big stick. <laughs> There's not much different. I think the arms are slightly different, slightly tooled slightly differently, just so we can hold the weapon a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, aside from that, that's that's the only difference between the two Prince Shizors there. Um, but yeah, I've also seen someone do a custom one of these where they've put Lando in the in the Imperial suit here as well. So, I don't know, maybe a possibility for the future, we'll see. But yeah, there's Leia Boosh, or Leia in Boosh disguise. How do you say it? Do you say Boosh or Bausch? I guess that's harder to write than it is just to say. Um... <laughs> It's always a little bit been a little bit of an odd one. I've, I've, I've always just stuck with Boosh. But it could be Bausch. Or Bausch. <laughs> I don't know. All right, folks. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Go and play Shadows of the Empire if you've still got a Nintendo 64. Um, <laughs> and we'll catch up with you very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always.